Alright, so today I'm going to show you the process of cleaning up duplicate elements in a Revit model. In this example, I'm going to try to remove duplicate parking stalls. Uh, on the screen you see a set of 24 parking stalls, but when you do this selection, notice how it I have 40 elements. This is an indication that the parking stalls are stacked on top of each other. And doing this manual cleanup with out of the box tools, it's something that's very difficult. Instead, I'm going to utilize a quick Dynamo script that will help me with the task. First, then you need to make sure you have these packages installed. So you have to have uh, two packages installed: Archilab.net by Grimshaw, and. Uh, you also want to have uh, the Clockworks for Dynamo 0.7 uh, version. I'll start by selecting all the objects of the same category. In this case, I need to select all the elements that belong to the parking category. Then I need to select all the elements of the same category. <coughs> then I need to select the insertion point of each of the parking stalls. I'll do this with the custom node created by Archilab called element location. This is going to give me the list of all the XYZ insertion points of uh, the parking stalls. Then I need to find out which of these points are, are duplicates. And to do that I'm going to use a node called duplicate, in the duplicate item indexes. This is also by Archilabnet, and this is going to spill a list of unique points and the list of points that are, are duplicate. Now that I have the list of the things that are duplicate, I need to be able to remove them from my original list of objects. I'll use the node list remove item at index. My original list is the set of elements, and the elements I want to remove from this list are the elements that are <coughs> unique. This is going to leave me with a list of objects that needs to be removed. And I'll use the node called delete objects, or delete elements, is also by ArcLab. and uh, just add a boolean to confirm. And I'm going to proceed to run the command. And let's see what happened in the background. So remember I used to have 40 elements. Now when I do the selection, I'm left with 24. Alright, hope this helps.